Lindsay here, the Frugal Crafter. Today we're going to take a look at the Soho Professional Color Pencils. Um, and these are available exclusively at Jerry's Artorama. I've got a review for them today. I do want to let you know that um, I have had videos sponsored by Jerry's and I do some freelance work from them from time to time. And um, I did not purchase this set. This set um, came to me as part of some of the other work I was doing for them. So um, I just want to let you know that before I begin the review. In case you want to give more or less weight to what I have to say, I think it's your, um, your choice to do that that way you kind of have all the chips on the table and you know what we're uh, talking about here so um, if you look here I've got some different examples of um, items I have colored with the Soho pencils so um, this right here I did in an adult coloring book it was the um, um, images of nature coloring book I believe it's got an octopus on the front it's very pretty um, and this is on a very smooth off-white paper so these is just the Soho pencils you can see um, they're nice and vibrant on that and then um, this I did on a smooth cardstock just the uh, GP cardstock that you can find at like um, a Walmart or Sam's Club or whatever the inexpensive smooth white cardstock and for me it seemed like it was a little too smooth and it didn't grip the paper very much and I also used Gamzol to blend that out and Gamzol is a um, a product that is basically like a paint thinner and it just kind of dissolves the wax and helps spread it out and this here is a watercolor I did from a live stream the other day and um, I used the colored pencils to accent some of the areas and I actually use quite a bit of pencil on there and what I like is that it doesn't seem to leave like a waxy sheen on the piece um, so you don't really notice it doesn't like stand out as far as having a different texture or sheen um, as opposed to the watercolor so I thought that was a really great use of these pencils and um, we're gonna take a look at these today so the first thing I want to mention about these pencils is they're uh, a lot harder and drier than you may be used to like if you're used to a um, Faber-Castell polychromos or a um, Prismacolor those are very soft creamy pencils that wear down quickly these are hard pencils that wear down slowly they don't have a lot of wax um, but the bonus is that they are less likely to break and you don't have to sharpen them as often um, you know the downside is you're not just gonna put down as much color all in one go like you will with like a polychromos so um, this is a set that I have it's a set of 72 now one upgrade I made to this set here is I took a piece of cardboard actually mat board and well, I can't flip it over without spilling this and I glued it to the back maybe if I put my arm over it like that I can flip it so I glued a piece of cardboard to the back and just put some duct tape little handles on there so that I could um, easily lift out this top tray and get to the bottom tray and I've mixed up these colors because I've let my kids use them and stuff and I, I let them use my supplies I think that supplies are meant to be used not meant to be hoarded so um, they actually will give me a great kind of test of how a product performs and they were using them in the coloring books and they were really performing well so the kind of paper that you decide to use here is going to make a big difference um, to your success as a uh, as a colored pencil user so when you're using colored pencils you don't want a paper that's too rough because it will um, it'll skip and you'll get all these like sparkly white bits but you don't want a paper that's too smooth or it can't hold that much pencil so this is a watercolor paper that's got a, a little bit of tooth to it not a ton and we're gonna work on that just so I can kind of lay down some colors and show you how they blend and this this one thing about this set is it takes up so much space on my table and my table gets smaller and smaller as I work on projects so I'm just gonna slide that off out of the way and then I'm gonna pull out some colors and kind of do like a spectrum blend across so I'll start with like the colors of the rainbow and um, and I'll start with this kind of red now if I color lightly you can see that I've just got a nice um, soft coloring there and then I can press firm more firmly and get a deeper color there now I'm just going to go over that so I can get that a little more uniform. Now when I'm going to go to blend a color, what I like to do is go a little lighter. And that, pa that paper is creased there, so don't worry about that if it looks a little weird. And then I'm going to overlay it with the next color. In this case, I'm going to go with an orange. Oh, the other thing that I really like about these pencils is that they um, use actual names. So, like, this is cadmium orange. It's not, like, sunny orange marmalade or something like that. It's an actual pigment color. So that if you're trying to match it with your other artist grade supplies, you're going to know what you're going to get as far as a color, which I think is really smart. And I've been very impressed with the different Soho um, products that I have used. So... You know, just just to let you know, these are actually made by Create a Color, which is a um, fairly well-known colored pencil maker. So, um, so you got that anyway. That's that's nice knowing that it's actually made by a reputable um, maker instead of just you know some private label. You don't know who makes it. It's it's stated right on the box, which I think is really cool. And I'm just gonna grab a couple more colors so we can blend it across. And 
and it will have a little bit more of like a scratchier noise to it than like a like a Prismacolor just because there's less wax in here so instead of it gliding it's almost like um like sloughing the pigment off onto the paper uh, so it's just something that may bother you it may not but at least you'll know before you invest um the set of 72 retails for well it, on a list price is what you see on the website and it'll say like 162 but I think typically they sell for about 100 for a set of 72 and um, they're on sale for like $69 for a set of 72 so they're definitely um, you know fairly low cost as far as artist quality supplies so there we've got that spectrum blended out and um, what I want to show you is um, using a product to thin it to blend it um, and then I think I'll probably get a, a um, just a regular wax blender so I can show you how to use those as well. So if I'm using one of these, I'm just going to dip in with a blending stump here, or you could use a Q-dip or whatever you have, and then um, you can just add it to your, right over your drawing, and you'll see that it liquefies that, kind of like a watercolor pencil, which is kind of neat. And I'm kind of turning the stump as I go just to get like a clean space. You can clean these by wiping them on a sandpaper block. All right, so that blended them together really nice. I'm gonna see if I can just kind of scribble some of the extra, extra stuff out there. I find that they have a pretty decent pigment load, but you definitely need a paper with a little bit of tooth in it to be able to take advantage of the amount of pigment they have. And there you can see it all um, kind of colored out there. I think it uh, has a pretty good pig uh, pigment strength. And it just you just get a lot more color when you're coloring on something that's a little bit toothier. Um, I would say they are a good bet, especially if you like to do color pencil art. I would probably use them. You could kind of do a painting with them and then even go over them with a softer media. The only um, thing you might want in addition to these is like a white... Um, a white color pencil from maybe like the Derwent uh, Color Soft line or Prismacolor because th those are a little more opaque. So the white wasn't as opaque as I wanted. And I can show you on the fish painting here, um, like where I added white to the eye. I mean, it's pretty opaque, but I did leave some of the white of the paper there, but kind of like under the eye there, I'd used white. And it's just not as opaque as, um, as I would prefer to have in my color pencils. Um, you could always go over and add finishing touches with a softer brand of pencil. It's the whole fat over lean rule that you hear oil painters talk about. Same thing with pastels, same thing with pencils. You put your drier layers down first, your harder drier layers, and you can work up with softer, fatter, waxier layers. Um, but I think it's a great idea. I think they're um, they're well priced and nice, especially if you don't want to see that shine on your work. You don't want to have the wax bloom. If you want to lay down a lot of color without having the wax kind of gum up, um, they're they're a good a good pencil. Are they my favorite? No, they're not. But personally, I like a softer, creamier pencil. I like the Derwent Color Softs. I only have like 36 of those, but I really like those right now. I like Prismacolors, but they the leads break because they're so soft. Um, so that kind of irritates me. So that's kind of what is kind of like why Colorsoft is kind of like jumping into spot number one for me. Um, I like the Polychromos, but they're a little more transparent than I like. These are also quite transparent. Like they're they're about the same probably opacity as like the Polychromos, but the Polychromos are an oil-based pencil and they are smoother and slicker when you color them down. So um, hopefully that helped you. If you were considering these pencils, you can always get a smaller, um, a smaller kit and I believe they're available open stock as well. So if you use one up or you just want to try a few of your favorite colors, then you can do that as well. So um, that pretty much does it. That's the Soho colored pencil line available at Jerry's Autorama. Uh, I'm not sure if you can get them other places. I think they're kind of their one of their own house brands, but um, definitely give them a try if you're looking for a um, affordable, bright colored pencil that does not leave the waxy bloom. I think it's um, I think it's a really good bet. Thank you so much for watching. If you like review videos, please give me a thumbs up. And if you're not already, hit that subscribe button because I'd love to have you back for another video. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, happy crafting.